Welcome to a tutorial on digital electronics and today uh, I thought of discussing about the IC parallel adders a bit okay so those of you who have gone through our tutorial on adders okay in the previous sections of our, our com compendium on digital electronics okay so over there I just told you about the full adder if you all remember okay so the full adder is basically the improvement that we had achieved over the half adder okay designed previously and using the full adder we can add okay uh, up to three bits as you'll know and now when there are uh, you know the question of multi-bit binary addition arises okay let's say we want to add you know multi-bit binary numbers so then we would use several full adder stages in order to you know obtain that or rather in order to achieve that okay so several full adder stages are used in order to uh, I mean you know add basically multi-bit binary numbers okay so here let's just take an example of uh, let's say uh, we have a number e okay having the following number of bits over here Let's say the number of bits are, let's say, A3, A2, A1, and uh, A0. Okay, so obviously over here, A3 would represent the MSB of this number A, and A0, on the other hand, would represent the LSB. Okay, so uh, in order to, I mean, this number cannot be added alone, of course, so it needs to be added to something else. So we have another number here uh, named by B, okay, and, cars, and uh, similar to A, it also has, you know, four bits, okay there goes the bits b3 b2 b1 and b0 okay so here we see that each of these numbers a and b has got four bits each okay so now let me just tell you one more uh, detail about uh, the full adder stages okay whenever we need to add i mean multi-bit uh, binary numbers okay then we need to first see about how many uh, bits are present in each of the numbers like here we see that in each of the numbers that we are adding over here there are four bits on each okay so therefore uh, we would require four full adder stages therefore from this discussion we conclude that the number of full adder stages required okay number of full adder I'll just uh, you know write in short as FA full adder stages needed is equal to number of bits okay the maximum number of bits in each number okay or rather in each binary number okay so therefore we have here in our example uh, two binary numbers which are having four bits in each of them so for them we would require four full adder stages okay so let's just first draw the first full adder stage okay so uh, as you'll know, I'll just not go into the details of the logic circuitry of the full adder. That's just too big. So for the moment, just consider that this uh, square uh, box that I'm drawing here, okay, as the circuit of a full adder. Okay, I'll just name it as FA in short. So this is the first full adder stage, so I'll name it as FA1. So here we would have, uh, for each full adder uh, would be used, you know, in order to add each of the corresponding bits of the two binary numbers being added okay so first full adder we would use to add the LSBs of the two binary numbers that's a0 and b0 over here so therefore at the input of the first full adder we'll have a0 okay and there we have b0 okay and as we know that a full adder has a carry in pin okay so the carry in pin uh, would you know have an input if there are previous carry stages okay if there are previous adder stages okay so and a carry is generated it's sent to the carry in pin now here in this addition or rather in this example uh, since this is the very first stage of addition so therefore there's no carry and we can just safely ground this pin okay so there we have it and okay the output we have the output sum so this represents the sum of the LSBs okay so therefore it's denoted by S0 and at the output also we have another carry output okay so I'll just name it as let's say C1 okay carry output from the first stage so it's named, named as okay C1 
So then we have the next full adder stage. I mean, after uh, the uh, addition of the LSBs are over, we'll just move on to the next higher stage of the binary numbers. Over here, we have them as A1 and B1. Okay, so this carry generated from the first uh, stage of the LSBs, okay, from the first full adder goes into the carry in input of the next full adder that is FA2. Okay, so here we are adding the bits A1 and B1 also. And uh, at the output, we're getting the next higher bit of the sum, okay, I mean, which is the result of the addition of the bits A1 and B1. That's that's why we just named it as S1. Okay, it also has an output carry. And similarly, we just go on, you know, adding such stages continuously. Okay, this one being for the next higher stage, that's A2 and B2. Okay, at the output, we have S2. And this is obviously full adder 3. Okay, there is its carry output. For full adder 2, the carry output will be known as C2. And for full adder 3, it will be known as C3 okay then this goes on to the input of the fourth and final stage of the full adder here goes the sum that's known as okay s3 and at the final stage we shall just add the msbs of the two full adders that is a3 and b3 over here so at the input we would have a3 and then b3 okay so these are the inputs uh, of the final full adder stage that's if a4 okay and at the output carry is known as c4 or it's sometimes also referred to as c out that is carry out which represents the final carry out from all the stages of addition so basically uh, you know by cascading full adders this way we can just you know manage to add multi-bit binary numbers okay using uh, several full adder stages where each full adder stage adds the corresponding binary bits of the two numbers that are being added and for the carry generated in each stage is just transferred to the next stage for addition with the next higher numbers okay i mean the next higher uh, binary bits based on their weights or uh, possessions okay so uh, basically this is how we would you know cascade or rather we are supposed to cascade you know full adders in order to create a you know parallel adder okay here we have an example of a 4-bit parallel adder okay so this is known as a 4-bit parallel adder okay so here as we can uh, just see uh, using this concept you know uh, if we just you know try to implement this circuit using logic gates in a modern day electronic circuit okay it'll just take up too much space on the board and uh, you know cause confusion so in order to keep all this trouble out of our heads the engineers okay thought of designing the IC okay the very popular IC known as the IC 7483 or it's also known as 74 LS 83 okay so this IC is a 4-bit full adder chip so this is a 4-bit full adder chip all right so in this IC, I rather inside this IC, we have four full adder stages, okay, capable of handling, you know, two bits of, uh, you know, binary numbers each and having uh, the output of each one as we just, you know, showed you in this diagram of cascading, you know, full adder stages, okay. So there are just four full adder stages inside this uh, IC, that's a 7483 chip okay and this uh, ic just you know takes in the various inputs that's a0 b0 i mean uh, it, it just takes in four bits each of the two binary numbers that we want to add and it also has a carry in and a carry out pin and the corresponding output you know uh, representing the uh, sum generated as a result of addition so uh, you must be wondering about the you know uh, diagram of the i mean pin diagram of the ic by now so i'll just show you shortly there you go here is our diagram of the most popular 7483 chip, okay? It's a 4-bit full adder chip, all right? I just, let me just, I'll just switch to black in this case. So this chip, as you uh, just see over here, this represents the 4-bit 
you know um, adder okay let's see four bit adder chip 7483 and over here as you all can see like in our example we had you know two numbers consisting of four bits each okay so like that if we just want to add you know four bit binary numbers using this chip then this is the most you know suitable choice so here we got you know uh, for uh, the binary numbers that is various bits uh, that are sent into the various pins on the chip so here we got a4 uh, a3 and then a2 and a1 okay the various bits as used for the you know number a in our example as i said i rather showed you over here and then uh, we had uh, as you can see here uh, for the number b we also have the b4 then we come to the b1 b2 and then uh, b3 over here that's the various uh, you know bits uh, as inputs to the uh, ic pins okay and then if we just uh, then we have uh, the uh, c1 that's written over here this just represents the carry in okay this is used as the carry in pin okay when we use this ic in order to add to a uh, four bit binary numbers and then there is the c4 that's the final carry out okay as a c out or the carry out pin as we showed you in uh, this diagram where we just cascaded uh, all the full adder stages that's the c4 or the uh, you know uh, c out pin right over here as you all can see so basically uh, this ic has uh, four full adder stages inside it as i said before and this is the way in which this ic is used to add to binary numbers consisting of four bits each okay so here we go at pins 1 3 8 and uh, 10 we apply the first number that's the a and then at pin 16 4 7 and 11 we apply the next number that's that is we apply the numbers a and b to these pins if we just want to add yeah i i mean the numbers uh just stated in our example using this chip so we will apply the numbers at these inputs as shown over here in this diagram and then obtain their sum from the pins 15 to 6 and 9 where the pin 15 represents the lsb i'm sorry the msb of the sum output and 9 represents the lsb of the output sum generated due to the addition of the two numbers a and b okay here as we can see the pin 13 which is of course the pin c1 that's used as the carry in pin is grounded over here here it is okay and then uh, finally uh, this is uh, all about the you know uh, circuit diagram or rather the very basic circuit diagram in order to add two binary numbers of uh, four bits each using the uh, you know uh, 7483 four bit added chip okay so this uh, chip you know can be also used in order to configure such a circuit in which we would be able to add as well as subtract two binary numbers okay so that we shall obviously discuss in the part two of our tutorial on IC parallel adders and uh, here in this tutorial we just basically round up our conversation over here okay so a discussion just uh, you know is uh, rounded up over here and in order to sum up we can just say that please refer to our tutorial part two of uh, the IC parallel adders in order to know the details about how the 4-bit adder chip can be used in advanced applications of you know constructing higher you know adder and subtractor circuits okay so therefore uh, we just come to the end of our discussion over here in this tutorial and uh, till then it's uh, goodbye for now and uh, thank you